finally, we want to look in this unit at some of the rhetoric of the way animals are treated in the food system. So it's not just that various people are kind of objective scientists looking at what's going on empirically, reporting it, writing up their journal articles, trying to make things better insofar as they understand it. There's also various stakeholders in this. It's big money, big food, big agriculture. There's a lot of other people who are arguing for smaller farms, sustainable stuff. There are the vegans, there's the vegetarians. There's a little bit of a kind of marketplace of ideas here and some serious competition going on for your allegiances. And so what we want to look at here as well is the way in which some of the same practices with respect to animals can be portrayed in very different ways, both in video and in text. So we'll look at a kind of undercover video of an animal feedlot operation or a slaughterhouse that presents it in exactly the way you're expecting, dark, sort of undercover camera, very sinister music in the background, somebody's probably beating a downed cow or otherwise abusing an animal, looks really terrible and it moves you and you feel like, oh, this has to stop, I should become vegan. That's one way to portray it. There's truth in it, it actually happened, it was a videotape, obviously, but it might be a really weird exception or one bad apple. It might not be the dominant way in which animals are treated, right? Another thing to consider, though, is the way in which the industry now has offered videos and other sorts of materials for understanding the way animals are treated. They give a very different picture. So we'll look at a video put together by Temple Grandin, who's a Colorado State um, food and animal scientist, who shows in a, in a very sort of open way what goes on in a beef slaughterhouse. And she shows the killing and she shows the harvesting but it's done in such a way that it seems light and it seems efficient and it seems like the animals are okay and so you see a very different picture from the meat industry and from Temple Grandin who's a, a proponent of the meat industry a very different picture of some of the same activities so we want to look at these juxtapositions to get a sense of some of the rhetoric surrounding our discussion of the empirical issues related to animals and the way we treat them and some of the effects of the way we treat them when we eat them.